Welcome back guys, another five minute quick guide tutorial for the Steam Deck and I'm taking a look at adding a Sega Master System emulator to the system. So what we're going to want to do first is we want to exit out of game mode. So hit Steam all the way down to power. We're going to go to switch to desktop and let it switch to desktop. Um, we're going to go to applications and we're going to search. Now open up a keyboard, press Steam and X. So the Steam key and X. And we're just going to type Sega and let that search. And hit the Steam key again to get rid of the keyboard. And the one I'm going to install is Kega Fusion. So hit install on that. Now don't launch the application yet, close out of here. So what we're going to want to do is we want to put the emulator as a non-Steam game in gaming mode. So you can run it through gaming mode and you can use all the features of gaming mode and essentially the Steam backend. So on the Linux desktop, open up Steam, don't open up gaming mode. Go to add non-Steam game in the options menu and look for Kega Fusion. Find that checkbox it and select add selected program. When you're done, close out of that and go back to return to gaming mode. It'll take a moment, but it will load. Now what you want to do is you want to go to Steam, go to library in non-Steam games. So if you press L1 or one, you can go through the menus here, but go to non-Steam and hit Kega Fusion, which is now added. Open that up, hit play. I'm gonna configure this now. Okay, so setting up Kega Fusion is quite simple. A couple of things we wanna check. We wanna just check our video settings. I leave the standards as they were. You can set full screen if you wish, but everything else stays intact. You can turn off the filter if you want to have a more authentic experience, but other than that, I just left it as default. Works well there. And go to options then, set configuration most importantly. So what do we wanna do here? We wanna set up the controllers to so go to the controllers tab and I'll drop down the little arrow and we wanna select option three, which will be controller or Xbox 360 controller or something. It'll say Xbox on it, but that's the one you wanna select on the Steam Deck. So go to three, and then you basically want to go to define. So when you hit define, you basically go to your Steam Deck, pick your directional key, so up, down, left, right, A, B, and start. And then just hit apply. And do the same as well for the Master System, obviously. This is a combo emulator, so it does Genesis, 32X, Sega CD, and it does Master System and Game Gear, but we're specifically looking at a Master System game. So don't forget to do it here, drop it down again. Go select controller, define, up, down, left, right, A, B, start, apply, okay, and away we go. Let's kick off and play a game. Okay, we're back in Steam. Let's launch the emulator, test this. So this will be at full screen. Go to file, load master system ROM. Now I've got these in my sync folder, but you can also put these on the SD card. I am working on a video on file sharing on the system. I'll have that up shortly, but simply if you pop in an SD card into your Steam Deck and you have the ROM files on that, hit open, away we go. And I'm playing some Streets of Rage, the classic Master System game. And I actually have a kind of a strong like for this version of the game as opposed to the original Genesis one. I always pick Axel, gotta be done. Uh, it's a bit more floaty, would I say, than the uh, Sega Mega Drive version. And I actually remember 8 Boy UK did a Master System challenge for this one. So I'm, I'm actually looking forward to maybe having the ability to do a lot of more of these challenges in the future. Uh, I, all, I do like to buy original copies, physical obviously, and run it off my original Master System, now that I have one. But uh, this is a great alternative. But guys, as you can see, running perfectly on the Steam Deck. Uh, this machine, I just can't recommend it enough at the moment, it's just so versatile. Uh, guys, if you like what you see, I'm going to be doing more tutorials uh, in the next coming weeks on the system, more videos for Steam Deck. Stay tuned for that. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.